Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about resource allocation graph algorithm. It is a deadlock avoidance algorithm, right? And it is applicable only if we have a resource allocation system with only one instance of each resource type, right? And in this algorithm, we use a variant of the resource allocation graph, right? And this variant of resource allocation graph will have assignment edge, request edge, and claim edge, right? What are the assignment edge and request edge that we have already studied, right? Now, what is this claim edge? Now, a claim edge from process PI to resource RJ indicates that a process PI may request resource RJ at some time in the future, right? Now, see this uh, uh, graph, right? In this graph, you can see that uh, this is the request edge, right? Uh, process P2 requests the resource R1, right? This uh, edge shows that process P2 requests the resource R1. So it is a request edge. Now see this edge, right? This is an assignment edge and it indicates that resource R1 is assigned to process P1, right? And now you can see these dashed edges, right? These edges which are represented by dashed lines, right? These two edges right these are claim edges right this claim edges indicate that process p1 can request the resource r2 in future and this claim edge indicates that process p2 can request resource r2 in future right so when a process pi requests resource rj then the claim edge from process pi to resource rj is converted to request edge so how this resource allocation graph algorithm works, right? So suppose this process PI requests the resource RJ. Then what happened in this algorithm, resource allocation graph algorithm? In this algorithm, this request will be granted only if converting the request edge from process PI to resource RJ to an assignment edge from resource RJ to process PI does not result in the formation of a cycle in a resource allocation graph, right? Now, it will be clear after this example how this uh, resource allocation graph algorithm work. Now, see this graph, right? Suppose the process P2 requests the resource R2, right? Then this claim edge will be converted to the request edge like this, right? Now, we are having this graph, right? This, because the process P2 has requested the resource R2. So this claim hatch is uh, converted into the request hatch, right? Now, this request will be granted, right? Only if converting this request hatch into assignment hatch will not make any cycle in the graph, right? So what happens? Let us uh, change this uh, request hatch into an assignment hatch, right? Then we will get this graph. Right. So here you can see that there is a cycle. Right. If we convert this request edge into assignment edge. Right. Then we will have a cycle in a graph. Right. So this request of process P2 for resource R2 will not be granted. Right. So this is how this resource allocation graph algorithm work. Now see. See this graph. Right. Suppose in this graph, what happens? This is the claim match, right? Suppose this process P1 requests the resource R2, right? Then what happens? This claim edge will be converted to request edge, right? Like this, right? So what happens in this uh, resource allocation uh, graph algorithm? This request of process P1, right, will be granted if uh, converting this request edge into an assignment edge will not make any cycle in this graph, right? So if uh, this uh, request edge of uh, process P1 for resource R2, right? If we convert it into assignment edge, then we will get this graph, right? Now you can see here there is no cycle, right? So according to this resource allocation graph algorithm, uh, what happens? This resource R2 will be granted to process P1, right? Because uh, if we convert this request edge uh, from process P1 to resource R2, right? If we convert this request edge into assignment edge, right? 
uh, then no cycle is formed in the graph right so according to resource allocation graph algorithm this request of process p1 will be granted